Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel by clicking that red subscribe button, giving this video a thumbs up, and leaving me a comment after you watch the video. But right now you have Katie Lou on the table, and I am going to, um, this is a baby that was painted by myself. Um, she's a very special baby for me. Um, and I am going to get her changed. Now I will tell you that I am going to put her on a, I don't know if this is a gender neutral outfit or if it was just boy, but nevertheless, I'm putting it on her. I'm going to see what it looks like, what she looks like with it on. I'm going to change her diaper. She's wearing like a size one. I'm going to up it to a size two. She's a pretty, you know, big size baby. Um, so I feel like the one is just not doing her any justice. So I'm going to try that. Um, she was supposed to go get rooted. Um, and I just didn't have the money for that at the time. So she just just haven't went yet and um I am going to do it <clears throat> after I sell a few babies I'll go and get rooted that's the one of the the it's the benefit you know to being able to paint your own babies that you know it's, it saves you that but um I don't root myself yet but I did order me some needles and I have tons of hair here um nice hair more here so I'm going to try to practice some more mainly because I want to root my silicone baby myself if I can if I can't then um, I will um, if I can't then I will send her out to a dollar friend to get rooted but um I need to learn how to, to root to, but that's the only thing even even with making them yourself they're quite expensive just because of is it the bottom of her feet just because um you have to pay for the supplies and then definitely if I have to pay for rooting rooting can be quite expensive you know, that type of thing. Um, I always say, you know, I'm going to... So I'm going to put her on this diaper. I love the... Um, I really love babies with the one piece. I mean, the full limbs because... It helps for the most part to um, come in a cloth. Sometimes it's like this body is kind of on the fat side. So for whatever reasons, sometimes the diaper don't come all the way over. Or either I'm not putting it on right or something. I don't know. But I hate that part. That's the only thing. It's like on the sides. Somebody had told me what they do for that. But... I don't even think, and I don't think she should be wearing a size three, but let me see if that helped just for good measures. Cause sometimes if you go up, it might give you a little bit more coverage, but that's, that's the one thing I, I, I've noticed with her on this body and I just haven't wanted to change her out on it because I like the way it fit. But when I put on her diaper, that side action just, and it might be the way the diaper is cut but I doubt it. It seemed like this diaper should have really good coverage. So maybe because like one side will be covered and then the other one don't. Now see this one nope still on this side. It's like one side or the other is going to be lacking. Oh well. I'm going to just leave her on this one 
for now that's a size three but i'm gonna leave her on and i'm not gonna change her out again but yeah i don't know why but it just it it doesn't cover across it's not it's not wide enough i wonder if this one would cover it's like it's the width so it 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 really drives me insane like when she have on like little onesies now she's about to put on pants so it's not gonna really matter as much but that part drives me insane like it's like man i just wanted to cover this little side bum area Only other thing that sometimes I, okay, there we go. All right, there we are. All right, and that seemed to, that did seem to cover it a lot more for whatever reason, that's a smaller diaper, but it's wider. So, okay, so now to the, to the sleeper. And look at her. Who told her to put her hand up there? Oh yeah, little hand. Nobody told you to be putting your hand up there. I don't know if you guys remember, but Noah had this on. So, um, but I find that some clothes are, you know, the pin on the color and stuff like that, is very gender neutral in um, the baby sections sometimes. Um, so. Then plus, you know, hey, maybe I want to, maybe it'd be nice to see what this sculpt looked like as a boy. I've seen really cute boys. When she get her hair painted, I mean, um, rooted, not painted. When she get her hair rooted, she's going to be really cute. She is a, um, she's going to be my keeper. I was going to sell her at one point because I needed the money. And that's the problem. A lot of times I get, um. When I start getting desperate for money, I'd be like trying to sell everybody and everything. And I'm trying to work on it. And I was like, I really didn't want to sell it. So I was like, just keep painting, keep on painting, painting, painting. I'm like, once I finish these other dolls, I can put them up for sale. That's what they were intended for. If I just stop trying to speed the process up of getting some money because that's what I be doing. I be trying to speed up the process so I'll just sell something out of my collection because I need the money. I want the money right then. And if I'm not finished or I don't have a doll that was painted to sell, I sell my personal collection, which I don't think I need to be doing. She suck her thumb, it's really cute. All right, so I actually think it's okay. Maybe if I put her on some, ooh, maybe I need to put her on some girly like slippers. I am going to put her on this hat. So she got a ball head. I think the hat will be good. Okay. And I have some other shoes, but I'm gonna put her on these like pom-pom sock like shoes. I mean sock sockies. And I think that that will give her a little hey I'm a girl look you know type thing it's like hello I'm a girl type situation see like I have these I'm not gonna put her on these because these would be like I could be a boy still but I'm gonna put her on these pom-poms and I think and I know I just have them in here because I was about to put them on another baby now of course they're probably buried at the bottom but once I put her on the pom-poms it'll be like if you still think she's a boy then hey that's on you your boy's wearing pom-poms a 
power to the people, but oh. I used to hate like if one of my babies would be fully dressed in all pink and they'll be like, oh my gosh, he's so cute. Um, it's not a he. And why would you think a boy was in all pink? This was before everybody was like, it's okay for boys to wear pink type thing. Um, and I used to be like, oh my God, that's so annoying. I'd be like, um, yeah, she has on pink. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, tell me what you guys think. I think she could pull it off still as a girl. Ooh, I might have to take your pictures, Lulu. You are cute. I didn't even take pictures of Paris when I finished getting her dress. I should have. People haven't seen Paris in so long. But yeah, she, she's, she lost her earrings too. I think I gave her earrings to Nima. I'm good at that. If I can't, if I run out of earrings, I'll snatch earrings out of my older babies, out of my baby's ears, and put them in my other, my, the newer babies. But anyway, that is Lulu and her little pom-pom socks. <laughs> so let's see. Come on, Lulu. Pose for the camera. Do it for the camera. There we go. So you gotta have it. These babies, you gotta have them tilted just right. And the mouth, the thumb slides out, all that good jazz. But yeah, anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, can you guys see the socks? See? So yeah. Later.